Now, it's been a wonderful year, 2023. There have been many ups and downs. I've certainly had a, a number of highlights. Uh, I think we should have a look at one particular highlight. Uh, this is from a Headliners on a Christmas Day. Let's have a look at this. Maybe, I think, I'm not saying anybody could do this, but you could take a common man like Paul and he could probably do a better job you than he <laughs> today. Why don't you give him a you chance? You want Paul to host the show? Yeah, well, I don't want him to. I think Paul, do you, want to host, yeah. do you want to host the show? Don't what? ask Andrew, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. So this is like a mutiny. I mean, have you been discussing this before the show? You're, this is an actual mutiny now. No. So you want you want me, you want Paul to host the show, you want me to stop hosting the show? Fine, okay, we'll do Okay, fine. What was, okay, fine, we will do We'll have it your way. We'll no. have it. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Okay, now, what was interesting to me about that is a lot of people online thought it was real. What on earth is going on? And I, I got bombarded on Twitter by people saying, why are, you such a, why are you having a big strop? Why are you storming off? And then I had uh, left-wing woke activists cl clipping it and putting it out saying, this is what GB News is like, and saying, this is the clip that Andrew Doyle doesn't want you to see. I shared it on my own time. And then what was great, though, is that the, the activists, uh, because they'd fallen for it, they then got told that's obviously staged. They couldn't admit it. They were so embarrassed, they just started bombarding me with abuse instead and saying, oh, wait, we knew all along, we just wanted to take the mic. I mean, these people are pathetic, aren't they? What's going on? Yeah, absolutely. And also, that's clearly, that's clearly I mean, they, fake. Some, some say that, you know, activist tears are delicious, but activist embarrassment that, <laughs> oh, that, we yeah. saw, that we saw over those two days. I mean, I thought it was one of my greatest achievements, not just of 2023, <laughs> but of my life. And, you know, it's been quite the fruitful life, as, as you well know. You've had a very fruitful life. Exactly. It was a marvellous piece of TV. We all had fun. All those who knew headliners knew it was fun. There were some that were worried at first. OK, but of course, well. there, was, there was lots of tells. There were a few giveaways. The people, the people that saw the bad wanted to see the bad. It was wishful thinking. The thing is, Lewis, you, you know, you, you can be quite grating sometimes, but the idea, I'm too much of a professional to allow my emotions to override my reason. i tell you something. You can't have it both ways, Andrew Doyle. You can, you, and you want to have it both ways. You want to say, oh, this is a joke. You want everybody to see the joke, but you want to act up a storm. You yeah. were like you were doing your uh, your Olivia de Havilland no, out I there. No, I completely disagree. I think Andrew was doing what all great artists should do, and he yeah. was playing out in fiction uh, an emotion, an idea, an impulse to see what would happen. Yeah. It was, it was life and art... Art imitating life. Well, we why feel like sense? that, but we don't do it to so, them. Yeah, Lewis, <laughs> you, do, you do push people to the edge, but, but no, we do love you. You're part of the family. So, you know, every, don't all, have to say that. all is forgiven. But, but <laughs> is, why is he surprised that people... People actually believed him. I thought it was really. I'm cool. not sure they did, did they? I feel like the whole. A lot of people did, or at least there was wishful did. thinking. I think they wanted to believe.